All right, welcome back here, everybody. Now that we have our initial facial rig um, set up, before I go ahead and start painting our weights, what I want to go ahead and do here is start making some of our geometric constraints and some of our parenting constraints um, for some of the excess geo or some of the extra geometry here, which you know include like the top teeth, the bottom teeth, and the tongue. And I want to go ahead and parent those to the rig, including the eyes. Um, before we go ahead and actually start parenting our, um, or start painting our weights here, so let's go ahead and start by doing that. So first thing I want to go ahead and do is grab our bottom teeth, which include the entire group. Okay, and we'll go ahead and turn off our front and back pedals here, and I'm just simply going to shift select the jaw control, and we'll go ahead and parent that to the the jaw. So now whenever we move our jaw, our teeth are going to move. Okay, let's go ahead here and grab our tongue as well. And we just need to grab our tongue control or tongue master control here. And if I can go ahead and zoom in on this and bring back our tongue, you can see that this is going to control our tongue. So I want to go ahead and parent that to our jaw control as well. So now whenever our jaw moves, our tongue moves, as well as our teeth. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and move that down a little bit there. Okay, let's go ahead and take our upper teeth here, and we'll go ahead and parent that to um, the middle control. So now whenever our middle lip moves, our teeth will move here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our eye constraints here and our eye controls here and I'm just going to open up a basic rig controller here and we'll just go ahead and bring in an eyeball shape and we'll go ahead and move this into place here okay I'm just going to jump into our front view real quick just hit 5 on my keyboard and turn the x-ray off just so I can go ahead and place this properly as we need it doesn't necessarily have to be 100% perfect, but I want to get this to to really maintain the shape of the eye as much as I can. Um, that looks good. So let's go ahead and rename this the CC left eye. Okay, we'll go ahead and mirror that over here, and we're going to do this real quick. I'll just open that wizard controller script here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit Control D to duplicate that. Take that in the X axis. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select both of these. Go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on those. And we just need to go ahead and rename the right one here. So we'll just change the L to the R. Take out the one. Okay, we're also going to go ahead and recolor this. So the right one has to be red. Do the do blue for the left one there. I'm just going to go ahead and move that off my screen. So now you can see that we have our eye controls here. And I want to go ahead and parent these eye controls under another control. So we'll go ahead and just create a circle here real quick. Okay, go ahead and move this up. And I'm just going to jump into my side view here to make sure that I go ahead and line this up properly. Okay, and that looks good. So we'll go ahead and scale this out and down here. Probably have to move it up just a little bit here. We'll grab some control vertices and we'll shape this as we need here. Okay. Just trying to basically maintain the same shape on both sides. And sort of make them look like they're they're basically binoculars. And we'll go ahead and grab these two arrows from the face machine. We'll go ahead and just simply um, select the groups for those. Go ahead and delete that. Okay. Take our eyes. Go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on those. Okay. Go ahead and rename this um, master curve to the CCI main. Go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on that as well. We'll go ahead and take and change it to a, a yellow color. This way it's going to 
stand out um, even um, against our, our petals that way that you can um, see that clearly and you're not necessarily going to have any um, major issues in term of, terms of you know knowing what's what here so we'll go ahead and take our left eye our right eye shift select our eye main we'll go ahead and hit P to parent that okay and now we just need to go ahead and set up our constraints here so we'll select our eye control our left eye control select our left eye come up here to constraint and we'll open the options box now we'll go ahead and reset this to the default but we'll go ahead and make sure that we have the maintain offset turned on go ahead and hit apply there do the same thing here for the right eye just hit G okay so now our eye controls are going to be moving correctly and if you want you can just simply you know rotate this or whatever okay so now we need to basically add an attribute to the um, the headmaster control here and I'm gonna do this for the for the eye lock control so we'll go ahead and modify add attribute we'll just make this an enumerated value okay we'll call this eye lock and we'll call the green here um, head and we'll call the blue here free or independent um, it doesn't necessarily matter because we're just simply going to be par um, set driven king the actual parent constraint here so we'll take the flower head main shift select the I master or the I main come up here to constraint just make sure that we have our maintain offset checked here we'll go ahead and apply that okay so now when we select our um, head control you can see where our eyes are going to um, basically be parented to that <coughs> eye main and the eye main is going to be moving okay so we'll go ahead and move that back and we just simply need to take our eyes the actual geometry for our eyes and we can um, parent this basically to the the head main here so now when we move the head main our eyes are going to move the same here but you can see where our teeth aren't necessarily moving and I'll go ahead and set that up here after I go ahead and set driven key our constraint here so with our eye main selected here I'm going to open up my outliner and grab the parent constraint here we're going to come up to animate set driven key set we'll go ahead and load the parent constraint here as the driven object okay we'll go ahead and take our head main load that as our driver object we'll take the eye lock okay now just making sure that our our, lo our eye lock here is set to head we want to take the um, you can either do the node state or you can do the actual weight of the the parent constraint so we'll just go ahead and do the node state here we'll go ahead and key that so it's locked take our flower head main change the eye lock to independent go ahead and select our parent constraint for our eyes and we'll take this to blocking so it's not going to have any effect we'll also go ahead and key that let's just go ahead and check to make sure that that works okay go ahead and lock it so now you can see where our eyes are going to move including the eye main okay go ahead and just um, make sure that everything there is closed okay so now we need to go ahead and clean up our um, facial rig here so let's go ahead and take our just select one of these actual nerves curves here and we just need to find the entire group for those nerves curves which is the um, whatever you've named it um, controls and we'll just take those shift select the head control or the actual head geometry um, you can do either one here our best bet's probably to go ahead and parent it to the actual geometry here so now when we go ahead and move our rig everything that we want moving with our rig is gonna move okay 
and if we go ahead and move our control rig here you can see where everything is moving properly except for if you can take a look here our eye control isn't necessarily moving properly so we need to take the eye main just shift select the global control go ahead and parent that so now everything is going to move right and scale correctly I can go ahead and just zoom in here you can see that it's all right there okay so let's just jump back a step here and just put that all back to one okay so now we have everything pretty much set up here what I want to go ahead and do is instead of having um, a bunch of different groups here I want to make this all underneath of one master group okay so with nothing selected I'm gonna go ahead and hit control G we'll go ahead and freeze the transformations and center of the pivots on that and we'll call this the cartoon flower we'll take everything here and just drag it underneath the cartoon flower group this way that your outliner is basically going to keep organized okay and with all that pretty much done here I was just want to go ahead and um, probably go ahead and move our um, jaw control out here so let's go ahead and make a reference layer here for our pedals just so I can go ahead and select our jaw control go ahead and hit F8 go ahead and hit 4 so I can see through the model here just making sure that I don't select anything that I don't want selected there and we'll just simply oh, I need to select the vertice on that making sure that I did that okay so we'll go ahead and just pull that out there okay just hit F8 again to bring it back and so now with our you can see that our jaw control is pretty much come out and I've probably pulled that out a little bit too far we should, really should probably have that see like right there that way it can still be selected um, and it's not necessarily going to be in the way of anything else okay so let's just go ahead here and make sure that everything is going to work properly and everything is set up right and in a way here that I want so our jaw control is moving correctly here we our eye controls move correct okay so in the next lesson we will go ahead and come back and um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of, um, of paint waning information um, say like a good half an hour of paint uh, weight painting I'm not gonna go ahead and you know really cover a good two hours of it because it really wasn't wouldn't be fair um, I will go ahead and do a little bit of weight painting while you guys watch um, and then outside of that I'll go ahead and refine the weights uh, really well and then we'll go ahead and come back and start doing some of the some other information here that I want to do for our uh, our face rig so come on back and continue watching